Yeah, back in the kitchen with Uncle AZ Fanu. What's good? That east side of tonight, we're gonna do some Ngati fried chicken. Fail the country fried, it's Ngati fried. <laughs> yeah. So, in this bowl, I've got my chicken, and it's been sitting there for about four hours. And this stuff, buttermilk. Hope you can see that. If you can't get buttermilk, pack and save's got it, but if you can't get it, um, a cup of milk with about a tablespoon of lemon or white vinegar will do the same trick. So for every cup of milk, just add a tablespoon of um, lemon or vinegar in there and you'll get pretty much this stuff. It's kind of like a yogurty, you know, it's got a soury sort of smell to it, but it's the meke for, it marinates the chicken and it'll help our dry coating stick to it. So yeah, you want to make sure it's fully covered in that stuff. Put that to the side. This is the tricky part, the dry seasoning. This is this is where you're gonna get it down to your taste. Everyone's a bit different. But I'm gonna use about three cups of flour. These are big cups, so they're about one and a half each of these cups, I suppose. Or close to. Yeah. So about three cups there. Then I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of smoked paprika. Yeah, this is the key ingredient, fam, smoked paprika. It gives it a bit of the color and it's gonna give it heaps of um smoky flavor, a bit of heat. It's nice stuff. You should put it on chips and that when you cook chips in the oven and stuff, or even just sprinkle them over when you're done. But yep, I'm going to do about two tablespoons, two healthy tablespoons of this stuff in there. So yeah. Then I'm going to do a tablespoon of white pepper. If you ain't got white pepper, use black pepper. Doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to do a, you know, a thin, a slim tablespoon of that stuff in there. Then I've got garlic powder. That's powdered garlic. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon and a half of this stuff in there. And I had, didn't have onion powder, but I'm going to use onion salt. So, you know, this this will be a bit salty anyway, so it won't matter too much. So that's an onion salt, tablespoon of onion salt. And I've got some black pepper in here, and I'm just going to... I like the little flakes of black in there, I'm just going to put some pepper through that. I'm gonna mix that together. Yeah. And a couple more things I want to chuck in there. I wanted to put a bit of cayenne pepper, fam. Now you can use chili powder if you want, but be very careful. I'm only gonna use a half a tablespoon of that stuff, of that. Half a tablespoon, that's about it. Let's it around some more. You want to get it really, really well mixed, fam. And that's your dry, that's going to be your dry um, coat for it. You can add more or less of each of those ingredients I've mentioned, fam. You know, experiment with it with the taste. Smell that already, it smells mean. You yeah. eat stuff. Now we're gonna take our chicken and we're gonna just roll it in there. I've got my deep fryer on too, you might want to turn that on. I'm using a um, pretty big pot for this slot, but yep. Yeah. So you just wanna make sure it's coated and drop it in there, give it a good rolling around in it. It already looks like KFC better fans. 
straight up. Remember you wash your hands at the start. That's the first thing we do, that way we can do stuff like this. You just gotta grab a plate. You just want to coat it and we'll give it a decent coating in the stuff, fams. You know, get it right in there, squeeze it in. The more you get on there, you want to get a real nice, nice crispy coating when you're done. But now, one of those buttermilks was enough to do, you know, a dozen chicken pieces. So, yeah. You can see how it gets that KFC sort of look to it too. Yep, I'll get back to you when I'm ready for the deep fry. Peace. Two fine so I've got all my chicken coated up. They already look like KFC. <laughs> all coated up. My oil's hot. Not smoking hot, but it's hot. And I want to put these all drumsticks, so they take about 15 minutes each. You know, so 15 minutes on, on a bit of a boil. Try and lay away from you when you're putting stuff in hot fat like that. And keep an eye on it. But yeah, about 15 minutes, fans. I'll be back. Two photo. So we're on our last few in here. They're coming out alright. I'm cooking these for about 18 minutes to 20 minutes each, fans. I like my chicken well cooked. Don't want to get sick, but yeah, looking pretty mean, eh? Yeah. Uncle Waves, AZ's and RTKFC. <laughs> yeah, so we're back with the tapes, taste tester fans. Came out good. I didn't overcook her. She's actually still hot, but. Mmm. Well cooked, babe. Mmm. Very hot. Eat side up. Give it a jam. Yeah. Eat.